Hey guys, it's Tessa from the Latte Library. Tonight I will be unboxing the From the Shadows box by Spark and Sparrow in this beautiful fragile box. This is super exciting. This is their latest um, book merch box. It has some pretty exciting new vendors that have been used, which is like super cool. And they're all Aussie, of course. I'm gonna get straight into it because I'm like super excited. I have had a peek at some of the items, but not all of them. But yeah, let's just get straight into it. So of course, first we have the thank you card. We then have like the spoiler card with um, a quote on it from Sarah J Mass. It says, there was a thing waiting in the darkness. It was ancient and cruel and paced in the shadows. I really like the graphic as well, actually. Alrighty. So the main thing, like when I got this today, the first thing I wanted to look at was the personalized book sleeve because I was super excited. I wasn't really sure what to expect. I wasn't sure if it was going to be my name or what, but it looks like it's just the first letter of my name, which is T. I love this fabric so much. I feel like it's so, maybe because I'm like reading Twilight right now, it's so like Twilight vibes, but then you could like make it like through in a glass vibes or like the darkling vibes. Like you can just like, adapt it to like whatever you kind of want which is like awesome this is handmade by Udalali Inspirations it, it really is like high quality the first book sleeve I ever got was from this company and it was like cactus it was so cute and this is actually oh inspired by the fold from the shadow and bone trilogy which like makes so much sense like so much sense I love it so it's got like to the inside it's very depthy then you have a pocket which is really cool you can put like pens in there, sticky notes, like like whatever you want with your book. I, I love them so much. And I just like, I love these, I, I love this colour so much. Like the greys and the whites and the blacks, I'm totally here for it. Next we have socks, which is like super cool. I love getting socks so much. They are pink, navy and white with like little skulls on them. Super cute. And they feel really comfy. And I feel like they're totally going to fit my feet. So cool. Okay, next we have, I haven't opened the candles because I just wanted to like save them. But now I'm going to open them. I love this washi tape so much. But it is so cool. Just in love with it. Oh, it's a baby jar. Oh. Speaking of Twilight, we have the Cullens and it smells of melon and violets. Oh my god. Yeah, it, yeah. It definitely smells like melons and violets. And it's like super fresh and summery and I love it. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> I mean, and I love the Collins. They're such a nice family. All right, so here's the label. It's very nice. Again, love the colors. And then you have the glitter. Which, I mean, you just can't get enough of glitter, man. Then we have a lemon and lime natural body spray. And it is the Chesh is it Cheshire Cat? Cheshire Cat? Cheshire, I think it's Cheshire, but I could be wrong. I think it's Cheshire. The Cheshire, Cheshire cat. It says shake well before each use. Gonna shake that up a little bit. All right. Wait, is that body spray? Yeah. Mm. Definitely smells like lemon lime, super fresh. I feel like I would use this as like a room spray. <laughs> It smells just that good. And it's like just really fresh. Very cool. That's a cool label. I'm loving this dark stuff, honestly. Oh, then we have a pin from Erin's Erin's Shop. And before I even like look at the spoiler card, I know this is Amarin. Definitely Amarin vibes, loving it. Definitely underrated in some cases. If you don't know, Amarin is from the A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J Mass, and it's amazing just like this pen. I actually love the detail. Next we have a mystery box. I'm not sure what's in this, but it's a really cool box. Oh, it's a candle. That's such a cool idea. And it's the cereal from A Court of Thorns and Roses, again by Sarah J Mass. And it smells of white pepper and orange blossom. I have been a fan of white pepper since it was used in the Dorian Hello Princeling because it just like, I don't know, it just smells amazing. This is like, so good. It's a masculine scent for sure. But like, the orange blossom gives it like a, like a hint of sweetness, but it's still very masculine, which is like my all time favorite. So, uh, I want like a jar of this. It smells so good. The cereal and the glitter. 
can't go wrong with the glitter. Again, super cute box, honestly, such a good idea. And then we have a wax melt. Wax melts are so good. Like, if you don't have a wax burner, I highly recommend you getting one and then get like a bunch of wax melts. So, like, just so easy. You don't have to worry about like setting fire to anything. But, like, you do. I have an electric one, so it's like no, no fire or flame needed. But they're so good. And this is called Things That Go Bump in the Night inspired by all things spooky and this wax melt smells of lime basil and mandarin 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 i don't know yeah definitely a fruity scent i feel like this would be like a perfect scent to like burn in the morning don't know why just feel like it would be because maybe because it's fruity really fresh though this is the label really pretty colors and you can see that so there's like blue glitter inside as well. I actually love like when you put a wax melt in and it's like like mid burn, you can see the glitter and stuff, super cool. Here we go. This is what I'm after. And next we have a print of the Darkling by Keeper of the Suns. It is amazing. I love it so much. And I love the Darkling so much. So I'm like, this is fantastic. This is obviously like, no. Not obviously. This is my favorite box by far because like the fandoms involved, I love all of them. Like all of them. Gotta see this up close. This is amazing. And like normally I'm not a fan of like getting prints and like paper bookmarks or whatever in boxes. But when it's like this quality, like how could you say no to that? It's amazing. I'm definitely gonna hang this up ASAP with blue tack. That's amazing. I'm pretty sure that's it from From the Shadows box by Spark and Sparrow. I mean, how do I choose a favorite? Although I kind of feel like it's really simple. I feel like the cereal candle, just because of like the scents and everything, is just totally up my alley. But honestly, this box is up my alley anyway. Like if I could only have like merch with these fandoms only, I'd be so happy. Like I wouldn't even complain. I love Darkling, I love Shadow and Bone, I love Corners and Roses, I love like Twilight. I'm like, I'm here for it. So I think Maddie and the Aussie vendors that she's like, collaborated with have done an awesome job and this is definitely my favorite box ever i'm not even sure like this could be topped just based on the fandoms anyway thanks for watching and let me know below what your favorite item is and if you like these fandoms because i feel like but i feel like everyone should like these fandoms but they probably don't they probably don't especially twilight it's quite controversial anyway thanks for watching i will see you in my next video see ya